All right, Carson. So before we start reading, I want to ask you some questions. You remember what we learned last year? It was the six different things that kind of go with an informational story, kind of how the author kind of structures it. Do you remember what that's called? You have your description, your compare and contrast, your cause and effect. What do you remember those are called? What is this? What do we call this? It begins with a T. Topic. Not topic. The story is called a te text. 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 And then the way that the author writes it. So it's cause and effect, um, compare and contrast, description, problem, solution. You remember that? Do you know what those are? Your text structures? Does that ring a bell? Are you sure? Okay. I want you to go ahead and write text structures on my board. Go ahead, write the text structures. Write that big, nice and big text structure. Wait, do I put text structure? Text structure. And we're gonna talk a little bit about each text structure just quickly. And then we'll go ahead. Now let me ask you with a text structure, does this sound like it's coming from a fiction story or nonfiction? It's okay, it's bones okay. Where do you think is it coming from? Do you think that text structures happen in informational stories or fiction stories? Fiction? Not fiction, the opposite. So if it's fiction, it's fake. What's the opposite one? Non fiction. Non fiction. Okay. So we have six types. Okay, let's see if you can remember a few that I've named. What's one of them that I named? Compare and contrast, so you can do CC. And what are we doing with compare and contrast? What do you do with that one? You compare the similarities and you explain the differences. Very good. What's another text structure? Sequence. Sequence, and what do we do with sequence? Go ahead, write that. What do we do with the sequence? Should I just put in S? You can put in S. Number things in order. Number things in order. What else can it be for? Going by step by step. Step by step. Very good. What's another text structure? Cause and effect. Cause and effect. So you put CE. And what do we do with that one? You find out what the cause is mm -hmm. and then you do the effect of what it is. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, what's another one? There's six in total. Think about a story. Stories have an issue, and usually by the end, the issue's kind of figured out. What do we call that? Starts with a P. Characters often have a prob. Problem and solution. Problem and solution. Very good. And how do you describe, how would you describe that in your own words? You find what the problem is, mm -hmm. and you figure out the solution. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else do we have? We have two more. Mm, cause and effect, sequence, compare and contrast, problem solution. How about description? Does that one ring a bell? Go ahead, put description. What's a description? What do you do with that one? Okay, find what it is about. If I asked you to describe bunnies to me, what would you be doing? Explaining what the bunnies. What were. about the bunnies? Like, it would explain, like, how they communicate to each other mm -hmm. and everything. And what else could you do with them? Describe what else? The different type of bunnies. Different have. types of bunnies. What the bunnies may look like. That's description. And then there's one more. Cause and effect, compare and contrast, sequence, problem, solution, description. What else is it? Mm. I just blanked on me too. Main idea? Not main, main idea is something that we're going to talk about too, but not text structure. Cause and effect, sequence, cause, da, da, da. We'll come back to it. It's going to come back to me. But I like that you brought up main idea. What is main idea? Do you remember? 
the whole idea of this story. Very good, what the most story is mostly about. So we're going to be reading, you're going to read to me this story, okay? And you're going to read it nice and loud, and I'm going to ask you some questions on it. And your job is that when I ask you questions, you're going to get pieces to build a nice structure, because I know you like to build things. And you like animals, so I figured that this would be a lovely story for you. Sound good? All right, honey. You're going to read the best that you can. Go ahead. Montanary is a city located on the Pacific coast of California. It lies at the southern edge of Montanary Bay. A bay is a large body of water where the land curves and the form the ocean. Montanary Bay has an underwater canyon or valley with steep sides. Mm -hmm. This canyon is close to 300 miles long it is 7.5 miles wide and more than two miles deep. It's the deepest ocean environment near a U.S. coast. Montana is located near the canyon makes it a wonderful place to observe and learn about sea life. Freeze, what's the main idea of that paragraph? What that paragraph is mostly about? The underwater canyon. What's that underwater canyon known as? Where can I find this? Using Tyler, where can I find this underwater canyon? What's the evidence? And what did you underline? We did. The southern edge of Montana Bay. Uh huh. Where can I find this bay, though? Where is it really located if I wanted to go travel to it? On the Pacific Coast of California. Very good. On, on the highlight that. All right? Because remember, main idea, yes, it's about this canyon and about this bay, but where can I go and find it? That's where I'm asking. Very good. All right, go ahead and read the next paragraph. Whale watching is a big deal in Montana. Whales can be spotted close to shore year-round. One reason for the bay's popularity with whales is that Montana Bay has so much of the food that whales like to eat. Whales feed on the bay. Many small fish and tiny shrimp-like creatures called krill. Blue whales, humpback whales, and dolphins all swim and feed in the ocean waters around Montana. But Montana is most famous for its California gray whales. Mm -hmm. About 20,000 of these huge whales pass by every year. Between December and April, the whales min migrate between Alaska and Mexico. They travel along a sea route that people have nicknamed the Great Whale Highway. Their paths take them close to Montana's underwater kept forests. The, the kelp helps hide baby whales from predators like sharks and orcas. Good. What does migrate mean? You see that word that's in big bold print? Do you know what migrate means? Where like a boy finds a female? Not like that. Let's look at the clues. It says that about 20,000 of these huge whales pass by every year between April, December and April, the whales migrate between Alaska and Mexico. So, and one part of the year, they're up here in Alaska, and then part of the year, they're down here in Mexico, and they migrate between. So what is another word that I could replace migrate with? If they're here at the top of Alaska and Alaska for part of the year, and down here in Mexico, okay. We're in Alaska, we're in Mexico. The whales are here and they go here and they go here, part, different parts of the year. They migrate. So what's another M word that kind of could be replaced with migrate? They're here one minute and then they blank down here the next. It begins with an M. My arms, I am what moving, moving. They are moving from one location part of the year down to another part down here. So we call that migrating or migrate. So they are back and forth, back and forth. They're just moving back and forth depending on where they need to go for the year. Okay, 
And what helps protect the baby whales? Go ahead, use that highlighter. Highlight that. What helps protect the baby whales from their predators? The underwater kelp forces. No, kelp, kelp force. There you go. Good boy. All right, go ahead. Read about the next paragraph. The bays kelp forces and plant plentiful food Good. support many other sea sea animals as well. California sea sea otters live along mountainous coasts. These playful creatures can be seen rolling around and floating on their backs in the water while feeding on shellfish, sea lions, and harbored seals also eat and rest along mountainous shores. Seabirds like gulls mm -hmm. and pelicans fish from the rich waters as well. Good, keep going. Montanus Bay Aquarium sits right on the rocky shore of Montanus many sea creatures. Sometimes even whales can be spotted from the aquarium's outdoor deck. This aquarium is one of the best in the world. It's a great place to observe and learn about all the sea life around Montania. For for an even closer look, whale watching boats take people out into the bay. They leave from Montania's old fishermen's wharf. Their fishing boats also deliver their catch right to the restaurants along the wharf. People feast on fresh clam clowder and fish diners in Montana. It's all about the sea. Very good. All right, you ready for the activity? All right, child. I'm going to give you a starting piece because that's just how nice I am. Remind me, where can I find this Montario Bay? Where is it located? Pacific Coast of California. Very good. So what state is it in? California. Put that piece and build your house. Where in California? Where your other piece? Where in California? On the southern edge. I mean, on the Pacific Coast. The Pacific Coast, very good. Add your next piece. We're gonna build, Carson, we're gonna build. Gorgeous, yep. All right, let me ask you, how many whales can I kind, can this Montana, Montanary Bay have? 20,000. About 20,000, very good. I remember those from last year. There you go, kid. It happens. What is the what type of whale is the most popular? Can we find the most of in Montanary? What paragraph do you think you can find that? One, two, three, or four. There's one. The gray whales. The gray whales. What's its full name? It has a full name. Not just any gray whale. It's the what? California gray whale. California gray whale. Yep, because that's where this is, right? Because that's where the Monterey Bay is. So that makes sense. If it's in California, California's going to have some type of special gray whale. Why do does this bay get so many whales? What's the reason behind it? Why does because of the small fish and the tiny shrimp like creatures called krill? Okay, so what can sum that up in your own words? So they get a lot of shrimp and a lot of krill. So what does that mean for that? They get a lot of like food. Very good. They have a big food source. Look at you go. Yeah. 
I'll bring out all the extra pieces since I know how much you love them. All right. Okay, I'm gonna save this question for the last. Okay, what are some animals that you can find in the Monterey Bay besides whales? What other animals can we see and find? The sea otters. Sea otters. The otters. What else? Sea lions. Mm, what paragraph did you find that in? Three. Three. Sea lions. Very good. What else? There's quite a bit. And harbor seals. Harbor seals. Seabirds like gulls and pelicans. Gulls and pelicans. Very good. Is there any more that we can find? Is there anything else? Hmm. Shellfish? Yeah, we're going to find some shellfish. You know what an example of a shellfish is? That's like your shrimp, your crab, lobster. Very good. You got those pieces. Very good. Very good. Now, while you're building, I want you to think, what kind of text structure could this story be? What are you thinking? You can build and think. You have compare and contrast, you have a sequence, you have cause and effect, we have problem solution, and we have a description. I will tell you it's one of those five. Description? Why are you thinking description? Because it doesn't have no compare and contrast. Okay. And it's not in order like sequence. Mm -hmm. and there's no cause and effect and no problem and solution. So what did we learn? If you're saying it's a description, what did we learn? Hmm. No, big question. You know me. So what did you learn as a reader? Have you ever heard of this place before? Mm -mm. So all of these paragraphs have a lot of what about this Monterey Bay? Information. A lot of information. And do we get a sense of exactly what this place looks like? Sure. Like it's an island? Mm -hmm. That it's on the coast how do we get do we find out information about how long it is or how many miles it is check that first paragraph because i agree with you this is a description we are learning about something but what's the evidence that supports that Besides knowing that's in California and that it has a lot of sea life there, do we learn anything else about this place? The underwater canyon. It has an underwater canyon. How long is it? How long is this bay? 300 miles long. Uh-huh. And how many miles? 7.5 miles wide. Mm-hmm. And uh, do we learn about specifically what type of animal really is popular there? The California gray whale. Mm -hmm. And how many whales go there? 20,000. Mm -hmm. And if you are not a whale person, what else can you do there? Go to the aquarium. You can go to the aquarium. And what else can you do? So you can go see all these other animals. And then let's say you get hungry. Where can you go and have a lunch or dinner? At the fish diners. Uh -huh. What's that called? Fresh clam chowder. Clam chowder. So you can have clam chowder there. You can have fish dinners. But where is this place called where you can go and actually get all of this? I will say you're in the right paragraph. It's like a restaurant. It's that weird word that starts with a W. Wharf. A wharf. So do you know what a wharf is? So it's like in a little area and on the water where you see the boats and you can see some animals and there's usually like some stores and restaurants there. Okay, so it's just kind of like a nice little area. 
So what, so we're, we're you sticking with description? It is. And what did you learn? Did you learn a lot about this thing? Which is what a description does. Very good. Go finish building your house while I ask you the last question. You got the last question. Remind me. What's main, you know, it's really two questions. What's main idea again? What's main idea? You told me. I know Miss Bodo has talked about it this year. I know I talked about it last year. Main idea is what the story is mostly about. Very good. What can you, in your own words, tell me that what you think the main idea of this story is about or this text is about? What do you think? Montana Bay. Okay, remember main idea is one sentence, it's a nice sentence. So what about Montario Bay? Montana Bay. Of its um, California gray whales, mm -hmm. its aquarium, um, the underwater canyon. Mm -hmm. So we have the Monterey Bay. So we have this bay and that you can go to the aquarium to see the fish. Mm -hmm. Where else can you? What else can you do? You can go whale watching on boats. Okay, so you can go whale watching. What else can you do? You can see the underwater canyon. Mm -hmm, the canyon. What else? Hmm. So you can go to the aquarium, we can go whale watch, and we can go see this underwater canyon that it is. We could go to a fish tank. So we can go to the wharf. Now this seems like there's a lot to do. So taking all this in mind, what do you think the main idea is? I agree, it's something with the Monterey Bay, but what about it? Think about all of these things that you can do. Make that one sentence. That you can visit the aquarium mm -hmm. and you can see the whales by going whale watching mm -hmm. and you can go diving and see the underwater canyon. Where can I do all of this? In Montana Bay. There you go. Another way that we could say is that there's a lot to do in this Monterey Bay because, I mean, look at all this. We have the aquarium, we have whale watching, we have canyon, we can go to the wharf. We can see a bunch of different things. That's a pretty cool place to be. Your final question. What does migrate mean? Mm, the whales migrate from Alaska to Mexico. They're doing what? They're like, um, like how birds do. They like go to the south. Yep, they do that. So what's that? What are they doing? Hibernating. Not hibernating. Mm, migrate. They're here one month. They're down here the next month. How do they get from here to here? They what? Move. They move. That's another word for migrate. Migrate means to move. Like your birds, like you said, birds go from here to here, different times of the year. These whales do the same thing. They are here for one time, then they're down here another part of the time. And how do they get from here to here? Well, they have to move. Well, they have to swim, but they have to move. Very good. I want you to build your house and I want you to show it off because you did fabulous. You did so good, Carson Yates. Mm. Mm. Another one, random question, and then we'll wrap up. In nonfiction, we have these things. What are these things called? That I'm pointing to. In a non, there's a text feature. What do we call this? With a camera. Pictures. Pictures. And what's underneath the pictures? What did captions. captions? And what did the captions tell us? The information about the pictures. You're so smart. You're so smart. Good boy. Good boy. Build your house. Build your house. You did fantastic. You did so good. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm going to show it to the camera. Oh, my teacher's going to love this. Gorgeous, honey. All right.